It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. Coming up next. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day as we are set for football at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and CD, you and I, we always enjoy our visits to Kansas City. These fans are among the best in football, and they should be a happy punch, too. Their guys are defending Super Bowl champions. And the reason that they are is because the offense and the defense, they complement each other so well. Offense gets off the fast starts, allows the defense to just rush the passer, which is a strength of what they do. That and good barbecue, Kansas City, big time favorites. But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Now Isaiah Pacheco going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw on target to James. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook but oh so effective nice completion there keeps the sticks moving so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10. they run with the second year man isaiah pacheco and good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45 yard line It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. They only needed a few inches there on second, but forget the halfback dive. They were going for the big one. I thought it was a good time to take a shot. You figure with their running game, if they don't get it there, you come back and run for it and pick up the first down. Go ahead and be aggressive. Try and get one downfield for a big one. On third and short to get to the tight end. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. James has got it. Complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. 
it's second and right at a yard. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're gonna be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he'll get this one back to the five yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The line of scrimmage, once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Once more, it's Pacheco. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff's demise? Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdowns and led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now a second and ten. From the gun, here's Gaugh. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. 
Kadarius Tony deep for KC. Taking it about the 36. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And the co-sign review, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. On first down, Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. Oh, look at the juke. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ball on the 32, it's second and two. Mahomes now to throw. That'll be caught by James. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards on the play. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. Mahomes going to throw. A dump down to McKinnon. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Now Gray, and he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Noah Gray, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chiefs lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that. will feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll get about three up past the 25. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This now a third and four. Goff now looking to throw. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Yeah. 
Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. They work now on second and nine. Mahomes to throw once more. Open man right side is Tony. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes able to find Gray here. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Noah Gray, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Chiefs take a three touchdown lead. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside, they give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards, and boy, did he come through, bowling his way into the end zone after the nice catch. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here come the Lions now. 
Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. I have to admit, I'm excited by that play call and the end result because this is a team that's down big early in the first quarter, and a lot of teams will just panic, abandon the playbook, and just start firing the ball all over the place. It's way too early for that. Stick to what works for you. Down double digits, and we talked about their game plan being both running and passing there. You're right. They're sticking to the game plan, getting the ground game going. A lot of football left to be played. 21 nothing. our score after one. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. Second and ten. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Montgomery. And they'll hold him to three there as he takes this up to the 47. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Here comes third down at seven. Here's Gaw. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. A man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon, and that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Mahomes now on first down. That one tipped and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively at second down. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. That is caught, and he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, 
any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. From the 21, it's second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Good strong throw and catch right there, and so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Toss right side to Pacheco. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. On play action, it's Mahomes. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Jalen reeves Maven from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And the pressure gets to him again. Anzalone providing a little deja vu back-to-back -back sacks and now they're staring at a fourth and long and it appears to me that someone's defensive coordinator is jockeying for a raise a sack on second and goal a sack on third and goal now brings up a decision on fourth down So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good, and the round is on. It's 24 to nothing. So everything else is going right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form and he knocked that one through. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Khalif Raymond now. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. 
And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. I know, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called can go. I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Montgomery with a good game there, and he broke 800 yards for the Bears' NFL best ground game last season. Divisional rival Detroit took notice and brought him in to boost their growing offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw is golf. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that will bring up second down. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. This offense so far on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. They'll go with the rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and four. Another run for Gibbs here. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Goff. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Uh, throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far, even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. 
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the gun, here's Goff. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what at worst. You're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with a 24-0 lead already in hand, really no reason to try to do anything too crazy here. And pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantling. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it, so on comes the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay a three-score game at 24. One of the few things that hasn't gone right in this first half. They had a chance there for late points, but this one winds up off the mark. A final shot before break here. Golf. And that is incomplete. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the reigning league MVP and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, who did his thing. He's got a touchdown through the air as his guys have raced out to a gigantic early lead. All right, coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. football to start the second half and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports no run back here to begin the half and we will start at the 25 yard line and the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit a three score game Charles but look there's plenty of time to go here the old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. On second down, here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and three. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is brought down, but not before.
before reaching the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 25, here's a second and four. Goff. Out route, he finds his man, it's Jones. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. And he has his receiver. That's Jones. Lions touchdown. Jones from 19 yards away and the Lions are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half so that Charles their first score of the ball game obviously coming here in the third quarter is that going to be enough to energize the troops it's a great question and we'll wait to see the answer but it's finally something for them to build on now they know that they can actually score against that defense now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Goff looking to throw, and they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere seeing that play. Focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead, and it's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. You can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime then sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Now a toss left for Pacheco. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Throwing his Mahomes on third. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Quick slant to Valdez Scantling. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Mahomes to throw on second down. Another catch for Valdez Scambling. 
Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now a second and two. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he is caught, able to slither by. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And he's going to have it by 20, able to get eight yards there on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it, and the Lions force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. They'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Second and nine. Out of the gun. Golf. This one swung out to Montgomery. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he is going to have a Lions first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. Down the sideline he goes. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. 92 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And you talk about great blocking up front. I don't think he was even touched, not a finger on him, until he was brought down to the ground. I think we heard the whoosh as he went by, didn't we? Right through the gap. No one there, as you outlined, no one touched him at all. A free sprint into the secondary. Yeah, that's what you call breaking free right there. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to throw, Goff. Over the middle and taken in by Laporta. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a second and six. Oh, 
Going up the gut, Montgomery. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Here's Gaw. That's to the pylon and incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Goff now to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Patterson's kick is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. As they, as they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? From the 28, it's second and five. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. A good rip by Pacheco. And you have to go back to 1990 with Johnny Johnson with the Cardinals to find a rookie seventh rounder with more rushing yards than he had last season. The 251st pick out of Rutgers took over to KC backfield with 830 yards in 2022. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. On second down, here's Mahomes. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Mahomes. Chiefs 
Cubs will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Now he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle hit him a bunch during the game and try and keep him in front. But if you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, bye bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I If they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. To throw is golf. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. This to LaPorta, right side. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that will bring up third and one. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Again, Goff has taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, Tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now Goff on first down. The left side completion to Jones. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. To throw on second down is Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And yeah, he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now it's Goff. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. There's
They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Throwing again is Goff. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. From the 50, it's Goff. The throw left sideline falls incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Fourth down, and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise. But how about the coverage? They're able to bat it down. Another drive coming for KC, and we'll see Marquez Valdez scantling once again. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. Able to find Gray here. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. And that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. This second and four. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. The defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Mahomes going to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the five on a pickup of five. Good gain there on first down and keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. No gain on the play. 
And it brings up third and five now. And they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Richie James, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Uh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And Detroit back in possession of the football. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. A partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Gone. Over the middle complete. That's Jones. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Goff on first down. That's complete to the Porta. And he's taken down inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. You just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 114 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, 
throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far. Nothing going right offensively. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? On third down, they go Montgomery. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They go ahead and snap it. Go off. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one to the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, but coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, well, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown of the afternoon. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal. And then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call. 
but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Extra point by Butker is on target and that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And Detroit getting set to go now. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for Pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. But this game is certainly... And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, play everything coming review. from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. So this one in the win column for Kansas City, and it was a game where they were quarter Charles and never look back you know partner after a while we always say the same thing don't we they said the tone early right they started fast so I asked a few of my horse racing friends do you have 